I do believe something magical can happen when you read a good book, said J.K. Rowling. To all those wonderful book lovers, brothers and sisters out there, thank you for all the support given to me in the review of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I feel truly happy and extremely blessed. Now, let us continue our magical journey in the Harry Potter series. Well, it's the second part. Do you know? It's the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Another mysterious production of J.K. Rowling. Now, it's Harry's second year at Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It was not easy for Harry to reach the Hogwarts. Do you know why? On Harry's 12th birthday, entered an uninvited guest, the house elf Dobby, who tried all the possible ways to stop Harry from leaving to Hogwarts. As it had the foresight of grave danger awaiting for Harry that Harry and Ron faces a series of adventure as they flew on Arthur Weasley's car and crashed it in the tree whooping willow and finally reached Hogwarts. At the magic school, Harry takes notice from the walls of messages that the Chamber of Secrets has been opened and that the hand of Slytherin would kill all the students who came from the non-magical or muggle family. Harry also discovers that he alone could hear voices from the walls and his ability to talk to the snakes. Can you believe it? Hermione, being the daughter of a muggle family, was petrified by Basilisk, the magical poisonous snake, which was under the control of Tom Riddle, who was none other than Lord Voldemort. Earlier in the story, Ginny Weasley, without knowing, had read the secret diary of Tom Riddle, which had the memories of Voldemort when the Chamber of Secret was first opened 50 years ago. Ginny was mesmerized by the dark magic played by Tom Riddle and finally became the victim to trap Harry into the Chamber of Secrets. Yes, Ron was frozen in shock when he read the message on the wall which said his sister's life is in danger. Best friends always stand by together during tough times. Harry and Ron are no exceptions to that. Harry makes an emphatic entry into the Chamber of Secrets where he finds an unconscious genie and the incarnation of Tom Riddle who reveals that he is Lord Voldemort and the Hand of Slytherin. Harry destroys Tom Riddle's diary with the basilisk fan with which he had been poisoned. Tom Riddle also gets destroyed in this process. After this incident, came Fox to rescue Harry by dropping his tears on his wound. His wound was banished and Harry rescued Ginny. I like the scene on Polyjo's potion which was prepared by Hermione for nearly a month. Harry and his friends doubted Draco Malfoy to be the heir of Slytherin. To find out this truth, Harry and Ron drank the Polyjuice potion with Draco's friends Crab and Goyle's hair in it. And they turned into the characters respective. They found Draco was not the heir of Slytherin. After they turned into themselves, Harry and Ron saw Hermione with a black cat face and a tail on her back. She mistook Millicent Bulstrode hat for hers. This scene was very hilarious. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets not only unveils the adventure, but it also has a lot of action and humor. Yes, the scene between Dobby and Harry at his uncle's house before leaving to Hogwarts. Gildiani Lockhart's treatment given to Harry after Quidditch and when he throws the memory loss charm at himself while trying to rescue Ginny, pulled my cheekbones apart. 
hope you would enjoy reading the book as much as I did. Thank you.